Hey everyone, welcome back to more Zelda Classic Third Quest. And the that last part was just a bunch of basically trying to find those all those minus twenties, uh, get those out of the way, because you know I'm showing you that you know stuff has changed. So what you thought was you know plus thirties or plus tens or whatever other secrets are now like minus twenties. You know, pay me for door repairs and all that. So I'm trying to get as many of those out of the way as I can. And I got most of them out of the way, actually. There's only a few left to find here. See, I'm totally broke here. <clears throat> Alright, so this part here is probably just more scouting. Probably still not going to move on yet. Um, because there are actually some upgrades you do want to get here. I know there's something here. I'm probably gonna run out of bombs trying to find this. Uh, I just ran out of bombs, uh. I think it's a shop there. I just wasted all my bombs. I have to go find more bombs now. That's a good way to start this video. Especially when a lot of those uh, minus 20s I still need to find uh, require bombs. So I'm gonna have to beat up some enemies here and find some bombs. Any of these guys is a good place to grind for some bombs here. And I'll happily take more bombs, because I'm going to need a bunch of them here. Oh, great. Well, that's going to make it a little trickier for me. It's like every time I see, every time I try to lose money, you know, I was just doing that one for fun. Like, you know, I don't expect to get anything out of it. And I know there's another minus twenty right here that I was supposed to get a long time ago, but I never got the chance to do it. Um, I don't think there's anything left to buy though. I mean, I already bought everything I could find. That's the thing. Uh, where did you put this one? I know this one is another minus 20 right here. At least it's only minus 20. I don't think it's ever like minus 50 or something. It's always 20 rupees. Looking for a heart here, and I'm not getting one. Now screw this. I'm so lazy. I'm just gonna go here. I kind of want sword beams for this part here. Now, luckily, this is the same solution right here. So no tricks here. Same solution through the lost woods. Not a very friendly spot. Ooh, clock. Okay, that's always welcome to get this thing. And the same thing, you want to leave like one or two enemies here. Uh, let me see what's on this screen here. Okay, just the two P hats. I'll just leave those alone. Always good just to leave, you know, one or two enemies on the screen so you don't have to deal with anything. Oh, 
Now this screen used to be pretty useless. There used to be nothing in it. Uh, you will get a hint. I think there's one of those pay me and I'll talk hints. I believe there's something here. At least I think there is. Yeah, see? The bracelet's not exactly where you thought it was. It's not where those armo statues were. So that's kind of a... little twist here. I actually just stumbled into that by pure luck, because I was actually doing my scouting, because I had, you know, bombs and candle. So I was just, like, bombing everything I could find here. Because I just wanted to see what I could find. Because since everything is different... That's an okay place to get some money right here. And you just go into the... You know, grind off the ghost here. Now, Blue Ring is handy since it you know, at least cuts down the damage from these ghosts here. Just make sure you keep track of the real one here. Not much in the graveyard here. Not 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 that many secrets. So I'm just picking up all the money I can find here. Fills that I don't really need here. Now the good ones, you no know, good rounds will give you like lots of cash. You can easily get you know, 15, 20 rupees at a time if you're lucky. Now uh, one of these is a secret here, but again, it's just money-making game. It used to be a heart container in the second quest. Nothing there now. Uh, so when the old guy was mentioning, like, you know, the previous destination, there is something uh, rather important on this screen, which I'll get to later. Now, for now, let's just keep going over here. Okay, got another clock here. Very handy. I got my bombs back. That's a bonus. <clears throat> uh, so this thing... It, this thing has changed throughout the quest here. Another one of these... Uh, magic shield shops there. Uh, nothing on this screen. Okay, and actually nothing on this screen either. So again, the bracelet used to be here, and now there's nothing. <clears throat> yeah, I'm concerned I might actually run out of bombs here, because you actually need a lot of bombs to explore these passages. Just picking up all the money I can find here. So this screen used to be rather useless. I mean, look, there's like a, just a tiny corner here. <laughs> Absolutely nothing here, right? 
I, yeah, you might want to remember this spot for later. It's way out of the way here, but you might want to remember that. And that's where you find your magic sword. Uh, I think there's a minus money thing here. So just get this out of the way. Now you go all the way around this, all this work, just to get a minus 20 in the end. Yeah, so I'm doing most of my scouting right now. And get this out of the way. You know, it makes life a little easier. Uh, I think this screen here has the, uh, the old lady there tells you about the bracelet. You have to pay money for that. Uh, basically, I think she said something about search below the graveyard or something. So it's right there, so FYI. Sword beams are really handy here, <laughs> being able to snipe from long distance. And that blue ring also is very handy. Hey, good time with these clocks here, actually. Okay, uh, I don't think there's anything on this screen. And then this screen to the left here, I don't think there's anything on it either. That thing is in the middle of a minefield here. Don't take the money. Always good to get money. Uh, nothing on this screen either. You know, just leave one right there. Always good to leave one enemy behind. If I'd gotten those bombs, I would've been really helpful. I don't remember where the secret is on this one. Now this one's another one of those minus 20s here. Magic shield is really handy for this area. So you don't have to be moving around all every which way here. You can actually kind of find a little base and stay at it. Okay, I know there was supposed to be something here. Wasn't there a minus 20 on this one? I labeled it wrong or something. Now I'm gonna need to find some more bombs here. Get rid of one of the P hats. Come on, drop some bombs here. Make it, yeah, make it good much use of that candles I can get here. Really need some bombs here. Okay. 
Okay, luckily this one I only need a bond. You only need a power bracelet for this. And this is the one that actually matters anyway. Yeah, of course they had to stick a heart container in the corner here. Just make you work for that. I thought there was a minus 20 here. That was kind of weird. Uh, I'll have to look at the one I actually drew notes on. See if I can find it. I thought there was a minus 20 on that one. <laughs> I have to go find more bombs now. I'm actually out of bombs. Yeah, so as long as you stand underneath like half a tile, you know, you're safe here. Kind of snipe away here. Save yourself a lot of trouble here, and especially useful if you don't have a magic shield. You can save yourself a lot of trouble with that. I get rid of one of the P hats there. Yeah, I don't have any more bombs here. I'm actually, oh, actually, I need bombs for this next part, actually. <laughs> Down to zero bombs here. I actually could go, just go buy bombs here, actually. Um, just waste 20 rupees and buy bombs. Because the problem is this whole upper area is like just rocks. You, you need bombs instead of just your candle or something. So I need to go find some bombs here. Let's see, who drops bombs? Uh, like, moblins or something. Just go beat them up to get some bombs. Yeah, look at my notes again. I'm just wasting a lot of time here. Uh, I'm not really gonna go into level one yet. Actually, you know, maybe I can get this while I'm at it. I'm in the neighborhood here. Actually, I need a bomb for that. <laughs> Looking for bombs just for that as well. Come on, drop some bombs here. Really need a bomb drop here, and I'm not getting any. And usually, I don't have this much trouble finding a bomb here. Like beating up every enemy I can find, I can drop bombs and they're not dropping anything. Oh my goodness. That's like, how many enemies have I defeated that can drop a bomb like that? Oh, there we go. Okay, there's one. I, I can get something here, but I actually need a bomb for it. Gonna be running around the place because I have to you know, stock myself with eight bombs here. I wasn't expecting to have this much trouble finding bombs. You're just not dropping anything. Oh, there you go. Okay. Like five minutes of searching, find some bombs here. I'm 
gonna see if I can get this all done in the same part here. This, this is probably gonna run like 30 minutes at least. Uh, if I can get this out of the way at least. Uh, so this used to be, I guess, level 3 or whatever. Or level 2, level 3, depending which quest you're playing. Yeah, this is where you put your white sword. Not at that waterfall anymore. So since I'm in a neighborhood looking for bombs, I can pick that up while I'm at it. And that will help out a bit. Now luckily I can warp, uh, so it shortens the journey a little bit. Scouting that left area here. Yeah, I might have to look at my notes here. Let me go look at my notes. I mean, I have this all written down here, and I'll, I'll just have to go get my notes here. Like, the, you know, I actually printed out the overworld map, and just... Because uh, it points out exactly where I need the bomb to find everything. <clears throat> oh, at least having the white sword helps out a little bit. I mean, I've kind of done all the work already, I've already cleared out all the enemies. <laughs> Most of these screens have just, like, one enemy here. Uh, so this one's another money-making game thing, so... Not really important there. Pretty sure there was a minus 20 here. I'm trying to find that just to be complete here. No, actually, I don't think there's anything on here. I'm looking at my notes here. I didn't. There's actually nothing on that screen. No wonder why. Because they bombed like the only two places you could find something. <laughs> I don't know why you would come up here for 30 rupees, but, uh, the heart container is a whole different story. It's always worth coming up to get that thing. And I'm not sure what I need to buy right now. I think I already bought everything I could here. Yeah, so this pretty much holds... You know, when you restart the game, you know, just like the other Zelda quest, you know, one enemy there. There is something there, I will not go into it for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> You'll understand what I mean when I say that. Yeah, this is a really subtle place to put this thing. You don't expect to find it up here, huh? <laughs> Pretty much way in no man's land. 
Now, to the left... Actually, let's see if we can scout to the left here. I lost my sword beams. That doesn't really help me. Stupid rocks here. Now, this is where, you know, level 9 used to be. Might as well scoop up the money here. Okay, this place I think is still the same as before. Still the potion shop. So that hasn't changed throughout the quest here. Still the exact same thing here. I don't think it's worth getting that five rupees there. It's just like a booby trap full of. Uh, Lionels here. I'll get the bombs there. That's always good to get. Ooh, more bombs. Uh, there is something here. I might save that for later because that's actually the the one 100 rupee secret here. So I'm gonna save that for later because otherwise I'm probably gonna be wasting money here. Okay, so I think, uh, I'm pretty good with scouting here. I'm trying to think what else there is to scout around this area. I think I got all the minus 20s out of the way. And I think I got all the heart containers I can get as well, because... You know, you saw one, you obviously needs a step ladder. And the other one is a little bit hidden. And I'll show you where that is later. Alright, so I think I've done enough scouting for this part. I, next part, I think we can start going into uh, level 1 here. And should be a bit easier with, you know, white sword and blue mail here, or blue ring. Alright, so we'll take a break here, and next part we'll finally start plowing through levels here. Alright, see you guys later.